So I am hitting goals, I'm doing the thing, and I'm proud of myself. It's the sequel. Can we take a moment for the cover? Come on! Ah, it's so cute! My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another book video. More specifically, we're going to be doing a book challenge. In this video, I'm going to be swapping my screen time for reading for a week. I feel like in this day and age, we'd be scrolling on our phone, scrolling on TikTok for hours and hours. And this week, I wanted to make it a challenge to do more reading. Obviously, I am on my phone um, a lot for my job, for social media and stuff like that. But I really wanted to make an effort to read more than I am scrolling on social media. I do listen to audiobooks, which I am using my phone, but it's more the premise of like trying to read more than just sitting there scrolling for hours. Like literally this morning, I scrolled on TikTok for like two hours. I want to replace that with reading. So the plan is I went into my analytics on my phone to see on average how much screen time I'm doing every single day and I will be matching it with this week. So for example, on Monday last week, I was on my phone for six hours and today we're going to be trying to read for six hours. So basically, I'm going to be correlating my screen time with my reading for a week and we'll see how I feel. I think it'll be fun. I can make a dent in my TBR, replace my screen time with reading, enjoy my books. I will still be sometimes using my phone because I do love audiobooks, but I'd rather use my phone and listen to an audiobook and read than scrolling on TikTok or scrolling on social media and not really doing anything of purpose. You know what I mean? So that is the plan. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below other book videos and challenges you guys want me to do. I really enjoy doing these kind of fun book challenges. Um, also I started a book Instagram. Um, I wanted to share my love for books on different platforms. So obviously on YouTube, um, Instagram, and then also I want to post more on TikTok. So totally go follow all of my socials to stay up to date with my life and books and stuff like that. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into it because we got a lot of reading to do, baby. All right, so today is Monday and um, we are going to start the reading challenge strong. Last Monday, I was on my phone for six hours. So we are going to try to read for six hours today. Um, I think it'll be fun. We are going to put a six hour timer on my iPad and we are going to try to read for that time. We'll, we'll see how much I'm able to read in that time. I feel like I'll be able to finish the book that I'm currently working on, which is Dirty Rowdy Thing by Christina Lauren. It's the second book after Sweet Filthy Boy. I'm not really enjoying the series so far, but there are some pretty good parts. Some parts I'm kind of bored and I don't really know. Like I'm not as into it, but we shall see. I have some pretty good books planned to read and then a few of them are physically going to be coming in the mail for me to read because right now I don't have a lot of books on my TBR. Those books I read for my 24 hour video and then these books I've read except for this third one which isn't out on audiobook yet. So hopefully this week I will be reading more than I'm on my phone and also making a dent on my digital TBR until the physical copies come in the mail um, or it, until I get them. So yeah, so I'm going to be currently working on Dirty Rowdy Thing by Christina Lauren. I'm going to be listening to the audiobook as I do my work for the day. Um, let's put six hours on the clock. And let's go, baby. Let's read. I'm excited. I'm going to get reading. And yeah, let's read. Let's get some work done today. All I have is reading, editing, and chilling, and more reading. So that's the goal. I will try to be listening to my audiobook and chilling, and that's the plan. Let's get reading, babes. Oh, 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 oh. Well, let's get reading and working. Um, that's the plan. Let's go. I'm excited. Mm, 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 mm.
Hey guys, so I'm only 20 minutes in and I thought I would share a little bit about the book that I'm reading. So I'm reading Dirty Rowdy Thing by Christina Lauren, which is the second book after Sweet Filthy Boy. Um, and basically it's about three women and three men that go to Las Vegas for um, a few days and they all get drunk and get married. They wake up the next day and they're like, wait, we married, huh? Um, and each book is each couple. Uh, I read the first one, pretty interesting. There were some parts that were kind of boring, um, but now I'm on book two, which is Dirty Rowdy Thing. So far, it's pretty interesting. This couple, I believe marriage-wise, they separated, but they still, from time to time, um, sleep together, and it's spicy, all right. Um, and yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. I mean, I'm enjoying it so far. Um, there are some parts that I kind of just blank out, um, but we are working and reading, baby. Oh. Um, so yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. I'm only 20 minutes to, into this challenge and we have five hours and 40 minutes. I think I will be able to finish this book um, in this six hours because I think I only have like two, three hours left of the book. Um, and yeah. So that's how it's going. I'm going to continue working and reading and I will keep you guys updated on how I like the book. And yeah, this is going to be a fun week full of reading, challenging ourselves, getting out of our comfort zone. And I love it. guys it is hours later we have two hours and 53 minutes left on the timer so a good four hours have passed by i finished dirty rowdy thing by christina lauren i loved that book so much more than the first one um it was spicy it was different i enjoyed that one and i think i would give it like a three star it was pretty good actually um, wasn't wow, but like better than the first one. And I think I will be continuing this series, especially that I have two more books in that series to go. Um, so I finished that and now I will be starting Barbarian's Touch by Ruby Dixon. This is the seventh book in a like 20 book series. So yeah, I'm going to be reading Barbarian's Touch. We'll see how far we get. We have two hours and 52 minutes. We'll see how long and how far we'll get in this book. This book is around 200 something pages, so it shouldn't be long. I might finish it in the three hours that's left on the timer. We shall see, but yeah, let's get reading and let's continue. So my timer ended and I finished Barbarian's Touch. This book was about the sister of the main FMC in book six. Um, it's spicy. It's interesting. It's different. Um, these aliens are like avatars um, and there's spicy scenes and there's kidnapping. There's a lot. But I kind of like it. It's it's different. It's an adventure. I enjoyed it. I think I would give it like three stars. Um, and yeah, we are done the reading for today. I will see you guys tomorrow for the next part of the challenge. Bye. Hello, guys. It is the next day. Happy Tuesday. The sun is shining in the office and I am enjoying it. So. Like I said yesterday, I finished Barbarian's Touch. 
by Ruby Dixon. It was a really good read. I think I'd give it a three slash four stars. Um, I enjoyed it um, and it was kind of like a continuous of book six um, because it was the main character's sister's point of view slash storyline. So I really enjoyed it. This was the last physical book in the series that I have and that I wanted to read. Um, now I will be reading the rest of the series digitally. So I think my next read is actually going to be Barbarian's Hope, which is book 11. I'm going to be listening to the audiobook on Audible. And then after that book, I'm going to read the Kevin Hart memoir. Because um, you guys know, I had a goal of reading five memoirs this year. And this book would be the fifth one. Um, the Physical copy is actually coming in the mail today, so I'm probably going to start it um, digitally, like listening to the audiobook, and then switch to physical. Um, so that is the plan for today. Today I just have some work, and then I want to get some stuff to donate. Um, so I'm going to go through my storage closet and just donate anything that I don't need. So last Tuesday I was on my phone for 3 hours and 52 minutes, which isn't bad. I think that's the kind of range that I want to be in. Like two to four hours I feel is like reasonable but when it's in like the eight ten eleven I'm like damn um so I think I'm going to do that time I checked the statistics again and I actually was on my phone for six hours and 20 minutes so I thought we could add that 20 minutes that I didn't do yesterday to today's time so I will put my timer for four hours and 12 minutes so we are going to try to read for that time um, my goal is to finish Barbarian's Hope and then start the Kevin Hart memoir. I will, like I said, I will be getting the physical copy by the end of the day. So I will start the audiobook and then maybe switch to physical and go back and forth. But that is the plan for today. We are going to read, work, and then get stuff to donate. So that is the plan. I have the drink of the day, which is the Peach Vibe Celsius. I'm so glad that they're in Canada now. Um, and yeah, that is the vibe. I also posted on my book Insta and I'm having a lot of fun with that. So totally go follow if you haven't already. Um, I'll be sharing all things books, hobbies, and yeah. Okay, let's get reading. Where's my iPad? Let's put a timer for four hours and 12 minutes. And I will be listening to Barbarian's Hope. And then once I'm done that book, I will go to the Kevin Hart memoir, which will check off one of my book goals, which was to read five memoirs. The five memoirs that I read was the Michelle Obama one, Matthew Perry, uh, Quinta Bronson, Elton John, and now it'll be Kevin Hart. So those are the five ones, which I also saw an email today that RuPaul came out of the memoir. So I might be adding that to the list of books to read or memoirs to read but at least we hit the goal already for the year and it's only March so I am hitting goals I'm doing the thing and I'm proud of myself anyways let's put the timer for four hours and 12 minutes um it is 3 p.m right now so we're gonna be finishing at like 7 p.m but I'm all for it okay so let's put four hours and 12 minutes on the timer and let's get reading, babes. I'm gonna be listening to my audiobook on Audible as I type away and work and sip on my Celsius and I will keep you guys updated. I'm excited for my books to come in the mail. I actually have my next few reads in the mail. Um, so I'll give you guys a little book haul when the books arrive, which they're supposed to arrive today. So we shall see. Anyways, let's get working because we got we got some work to do, babes. It is a couple hours later. We have, let's see, we have 32 minutes left on the timer. Um, I finished Barbarian's Hope. It was good. It wasn't as good as the other ones, but I still enjoyed that read. And I think I'd give it like a three star. I started reading the Kevin Hart memoir and it's so funny. 
Um, speaking of that book, I got a package in the mail which should have the book in here. So I thought we could do a little haul. Okay, first thing, got some supplements for my mom. And then this is the book that I started. It's called I Can't Make This Up Life Lessons, Kevin Hart. Um, the cover is obviously very funny. Um, the audiobook is him reading this book, and it's so funny. Like, Kevin Hart's hilarious. Um, so, yeah, I started it on audiobook, and I'm going to go back and forth between reading it and the audiobook. I think I'm going to listen more to the audiobook than physically read it just because it's so funny. And it's like I'm on the phone with Kevin Hart, and his stories are hilarious. Um, so, got that, and I'm excited to continue reading it. Then we have this book, which I've already read and I wanted a physical copy. It's The Worst Best Man by Mia Sosa. Um, this one's really a cute romance. Um, basically, it's kind of like, basically, she was left at the altar and then she ends up having to work with her ex-fiance's brother um, and they end up falling for each other. Actually, twin brother, I believe. So, yeah, very interesting. I'm excited to add these books to my bookshelf tomorrow i believe the wedding crasher by mia sosa is supposed to come in the mail and i hope to read that book in this video because i really enjoyed the worst best man i cannot wait to read um wedding crasher um and it's still like the wedding vibes so i'm excited to read that so yeah that's my little haul um i'm gonna continue reading this book and also i think it's nice to read so I can see like the different pictures. Like look how cute that is. Stop. Family tree. Oh, that's adorable. So yeah. Oh wait, that is so cute. So yeah, I think I'm going to do a little bit of physically reading this book. And then going back and forth between the audiobook and the physical book. But I'm liking it. Yeah. We did it. Uh, 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 uh. So we read for four hours and 12 minutes, or should I say listened to the audiobook? Um, and I had fun. Like I said, I finished Barbarian's Hope. And then I started I Can't Make This Up Life Lessons by Kevin Hart. It is so funny. And I'm maybe like a third way through the book. So I will continue reading this book tomorrow. Um, and yeah, so I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. I'm finishing up work, um, and then I'm gonna go, uh, try to find some things to donate, um, because we're gonna be donating some stuff Thursday, so that's kind of what I'm gonna do for the rest of the night and watch TV. So I will catch you guys tomorrow where we will continue reading this book and hopefully finishing this book. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. See you tomorrow! We did it. Uh, 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 uh. So we read for four hours and 12 minutes, or should I say listened to the audiobook? Um, and I had fun. Like I said, I finished Barbarian's Hope and then I started I Can't Make This Up Life Lessons by Kevin Hart. It is so funny and I'm maybe like a third way through the book. So I will continue reading this book tomorrow. Um, and yeah, so I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. I'm finishing up work, um, and then I'm gonna go, uh, try to find some things to donate, um, because we're gonna be donating some stuff Thursday, so that's kind of what I'm gonna do for the rest of the night and watch TV, so I will catch you guys tomorrow where we will continue reading this book and hopefully finishing this book, um, so yeah, that's the plan. See you tomorrow!
Hello guys, happy Wednesday. Last Wednesday, I was on my phone for four hours and 46 minutes. So today, we're going to try to read for four hours and 46 minutes. I will be continuing the Kevin Hart book right over here, which is I Can't Make This Up, Life Lessons by Kevin Hart. Um, it's really, really funny and it's really cool to learn more about his life. I will continue listening to the audiobook as I work and then I might switch back to the physical book. So that is the plan. Um, I will continue reading this book today. I'm going to work and then my bestie's coming over. We're gonna eat lasagna, play some games on my Nintendo Switch. We're gonna play Overcooked. And it's so fun and so stressful. Um, and we're just gonna hang out later tonight. So I'm gonna try to get some work done before my bestie comes over later tonight and let's continue reading. So let's put our timer for four hours and 46 minutes. I've been liking this challenge so far. I'm making a dent in my TBR and I feel like I'm less on my phone scrolling on social media and I'm more just doing work, reading, chilling, and I'm liking it so far. So we're gonna do four hours and 46 minutes. There we go. And start. All right, let's get reading, babes. <laughs> oh God, I love reading. Okay, I'm gonna get reading. All right, guys, so I finished the Kevin Hart memoir. It was so funny. I give it five stars. It was hilarious, and I got to really just get the inside on his life, how he became a comedian, and there were a lot of cool, good, uplifting life lessons in here, and it was very funny um, and really good, actually. So I give it five stars. Um, now I'm going to start reading The Wedding Crashers by Mia Sosa. The physical book should be coming later today, I believe. So I'm excited to read that. I really enjoyed, um, The Worst Best Man by her. So we will start reading that, um, and then continue tomorrow. Um, time-wise, we don't have a lot of time left. We only have 35 minutes, so I'll be reading um the wedding crashers for the 35 minutes and then continue the book tomorrow um and yeah that's the plan i feel pretty good i've been just reading away um i'm gonna prepare for my bestie to come over so i'll probably talk to you guys later today or maybe tomorrow um, but yeah, that is the plan. I really enjoyed this book. I'm going to start The Wedding Crasher for the 35 minutes left. And yeah, I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. So yeah, bye. Timer is done. I started The Wedding Crasher. It's pretty good so far. It's getting interesting. I will see you guys tomorrow where we will continue reading The Wedding Crasher and also continuing the challenge. Um, I have lasagna in the oven and I have some little appetizers and my bestie's coming over. So yeah, let me flip the camera. Good food cooking in the oven. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey guys, happy Thursday. Last week I was on my phone for like eight hours and two minutes. That's a whole working shift. Like, damn. 
Um, so today we are going to try to read for eight hours. I got a feeling I'll be able to do a lot of reading. Um, and I got The Wedding Crasher by Mia Sosa in the mail. I already started a little bit yesterday. I was able to read it for like 20, 30 minutes. I think I'm in the first few chapters. I will be going back and forth between the audiobook and the physical book. Um, basically, this is... A fake dating trope but it's interesting because she ended up crashing one of the weddings that she was working at because she overheard the bride to be basically cheating so she told the husband to be like hey i don't think you should marry this girl because she basically cheated and then weeks later um he asked her to fake date for a job opportunity and she says yes because her mom lied to her family saying that she has someone because she hasn't really had a serious relationship in a while. So they end up fake dating and yeah, I love a good fake dating trope. I really liked Worst Best Man by Mia Sosa so I wanted to continue reading her books and I decided to grab The Wedding Crasher. Um, I'm only a few chapters in. We got eight hours to go so I got a feeling I'll be able to finish this book and probably start another one so i am happy and excited so let's put the timer on because it is 12 so i'll be finishing this challenge at eight today i also have a workout class later tonight so i'll have to pause the timer and then continue it when i get back so that is the plan um yeah i'm excited let's put the timer for eight The Wedding Crasher by Mia Sosa. I'm gonna give it four stars. It was so cute. I loved their chemistry and like the slow burn kind of. Um, you know when like they're fake dating and then they slowly start falling for each other and I love the way that they both realize like girl you in love. Boy you in love. Um, really enjoyed it and I think I'm gonna be continuing reading more books by Mia Sosa because I really enjoyed it. I got a notification on the library app that this book is available um, on audiobook. Um, so I was like, you know what? This will be my next read. Perfect timing. So this is the sequel after The Gilded Ones. And basically this is like a YA black fantasy. Y'all know I like to support my black authors. And also it's just a really cool story. So I will be continuing this adventure and reading The Merciless One. Timing wise, we have another four hours and 38 minutes so basically we're halfway through um and hopefully i can finish this book in that time i need to listen to the audiobook as i continue work and then go to my workout class so we might pause it at one point to do my workout and then continue for the rest of the day but i'm liking it i really enjoyed this book um and yeah i enjoyed it this is so fun 
I love challenges. Comment down below some other book challenges you guys want me to do because honestly, this is so fun. I'm making a dent in my TBR, reading new books, discovering new authors, and it's good vibes all around. Um, so yeah, let's start The Merciless Ones by Namina Forna. the eight hour timer is done i am almost done the merciless ones i wasn't able to finish it i came back from my workout class showered continued the timer um and continued reading merciless ones tomorrow i will continue the book and hopefully finish it and start um a new one i actually got two books in the mail which i'll show you guys tomorrow and i will be reading one of them um, so I'm excited. Tomorrow is Friday, which is the last day of this challenge. I've had a lot of fun and I will see you guys tomorrow where we will continue with this challenge and do our last reading day of the week, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. It is the last day of the challenge. It's actually really early because I'm getting a window installed in the house. So I'm waiting for whenever they're coming. Otherwise, I would be in bed right now. So might as well start the challenge, get some work done. I also have a workout, getting a window installed, and then I have some editing and social media stuff to do. So that is the plan. I wanted to give you guys a little haul. I got two books in the mail from Amazon. I got Swift and Saddled by Lila Sage, which is the second book in the Done and Dusted series. I forgot what the series is called. Blue Ranch, Rebel Blue Ranch series. This is the second book after Done and Dusted. I ate it up. It was my first cowboy romance. I believe this one is the main character's brother's love story. And then she also announced her third book, which the cover is and it's going to be a four book series. Um, so excited to read this. I think we're going to read this um, later today, probably after the Merciless ones, which I'm currently reading. Um, I think we're going to grab this one. And then I got That Time I Got Drunk and Saved a Human by Kimberly Lemming. This is the third book in the Mead and Mishaps. I've already read this book digitally, like on audiobook, but the physical copy came out a couple days ago so I'm going to add it to my other books which are over there so thought I would share we are going to tackle the reading uh, last week I was on my phone for eight hours and 22 minutes it's on the high end um yeah my high end watch time is like eight to eleven hours the goal is for it to be in like the three to five that seems a bit reasonable but anyways, we are going to read for eight hours and 22 minutes. The goal would be to finish the Merciless Ones um, and then read Swift and Saddled. Also, a couple days ago, I started A Highlander for Hannah by Mary Warren, which is the first book in the series. But I also read the last book in the series in my last video. Um, and yeah, so my goal is to hopefully finished those three books. So The Merciless Ones, Swift and Saddled, and A Highlander for Hannah. Um, that's kind of the goal for today. And then I'll give you guys a rundown of all the books that I've read in this video. So yeah, I got some work to do, things to do. Um, it is early in the morning. It is 7.30 a.m. I'm usually not awake at this time. Mm, not at all. Um, we have Alani New, the Breezeberry flavor. Slay! Yeah. Okay, so let's put eight hours and 22 minutes on the timer.
guys i put a sweatshirt on because it was getting cold my office always gets really cold anyways i finished the merciless ones it was really good it was an adventure who you thought was the bad guy was not the bad guy and it was ah it was really good i think i'd give it three stars it wasn't as wow as the first one i think the first one just because i was new to the world whereas this one i'm in it but it wasn't as wow but i still will be continuing the series the next one is eternal ones which i'm waiting um on the library app for it to be available but i really enjoyed it and i gave it three stars time wise we let's see we are at well there is six hours and 38 minutes left and we are now going to start swift and saddled it literally released um a couple days ago and i finally got it in the mail and i'm so excited to read this it's the sequel can we take a moment for the cover come on ah it's so cute <laughs> so cute um so yeah i'm going to start this book i believe this is the brother's love story of the first one basically it says she's the city girl who refuses to be saddled with a man he's the cowboy who wants her I'm excited to start this. This one's a pretty short read um, and I got a feeling I'll be done this in like a few hours. It's 305 pages and we have six hours and a half. So I feel like I'll be able to finish this one um, in a few hours. I'm going to listen to the audiobook as I do some work and then go back and forth between physically reading it and you know. So that is the plan. Woo -woo. I will start reading. Let's go baby. the challenge Woo! i'm so happy that we finished it um i read some good books i'll give you guys a recap um they installed the window they came at like three so i didn't need to wake up early but it's fine because i finished work um edited at a reasonable hour so i'm happy about that all right so i wanted to give you guys a recap of all the books that i read in this challenge um, and I'm excited to get into it. Um, I think this challenge really helped me read more books and be less on my phone. Um, I feel like the only times I was on my phone was to either post on my book Instagram, um, upload a video or like I would watch YouTube sometimes on the TV, but like not scrolling. Um, so this challenge helped me read or like go for a book more than going and scrolling for no reason, um, which was really nice. Also, I feel like I was able to make a dent in my TBR, which I'm happy about and I feel really good. So yeah, the challenge was really fun. Um, comment down below if you guys want me to do it again because this was honestly kind of fun. And yeah, let's kind of give you, I'm gonna now give you a little bit of a wrap up. So. So first book that I read was Dirty Rowdy Thing by Christina Lauren. Basically, it was the sequel of uh, that series. It's after Sweet Filthy Boy. I liked it so much more than the first one. Um, I finished that on Monday and it was really good. Then I read Barbarian's Touch by Ruby Dixon. This one was pretty good. Um, not the not my favorite out of them, but it was still really interesting. Um, I enjoyed it because it was the sister of the main character in the sixth book so it was kind of like a continuous and it was still really interesting and i will be continuing the series um i ended up also reading barbarian's hope 
which is the 11th or 10th book um and so i'm almost done reading all of the like main books in that series and i made a nice bet in this series so i'm pretty proud of myself um for that um so tuesday i was able to read barbarian hope and then the second book that I read Tuesday or started was I Can't Make This Up, Life Lessons by Kevin Hart. This memoir was so funny. I loved the way that he explained his life story and how he basically became who he is. It was so funny, very inspirational, um, and it was hilarious. I loved it. This was a five star for sure. Oh, I kind of forgot to give my star ratings. Dirty Rowdy Thing, I think I'd give it a three star. Barbarian's Touch, I think I would also give it a three star. Um, Barbarian's Hope, I think I'd give it like a two star. It wasn't like anything wow, I barely remember it. Um, so yeah. After reading Kevin Hart's memoir, this was like on Wednesday at this point. Basically like Tuesday, I spent majority of the time reading the Kevin Hart book slash um, reading the Barbarian books. So that was pretty cool. Then on Wednesday, I picked up The Red and Crasher by Mia Sosa. So good. This is a four star. It was so cute. So funny. I love a good fake dating trope. Um, and I love the element of like her crashing the wedding and then they end up fake dating. It was, it was really good. I really enjoyed this one. And then um, after finishing The Wedding Crasher, I got a notification that this audiobook was ready. The Merciless Ones by Namina Forna so I decided to read it um it's the continuous after the gilded ones I really enjoyed it um I didn't love it as much as the first one but I still enjoyed the story and I will be continuing the series um and I think I'd give it a three star and then I continued reading Merciless Ones till today Friday and then I finished that book midday and then for the rest of the hours I read Swift and Saddled by Lila Sage. This book, mm, five stars, six stars. So good, so cute. Oh, oh baby, oh baby. Um, I really resonated with the FMC Ada just because like she's an independent woman um, and I just, I resonated with her. But then I also just really love Weston or West because he just sounded so fine and he like, he wanted her and he did everything to show her that like, I want you girl and I was like, like, I love books that make me feel like that. So I really enjoyed it. I will be continuing the series. I cannot wait for the next book that I believe is coming out at the end of this year. Also, the covers are just beautiful. Like, I can't get over this cover. So yeah, really enjoyed this book. Just finished it not too long ago. And I am very happy with this challenge. I had so much fun. I don't even know what my total of hours of reading I did in a week um but i'll put it on the screen i feel like i read a lot and i'm very happy about it um so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this book challenge video i'm going to be doing more of these because this is so fun comment down below some other book videos or just videos in general you guys want to see from me i love you guys so so much and i'll see you guys in another video